Hi, I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 favorite travel bags. And I'm also going to be sharing with you how I bring my luxury bags uh, traveling with me. I'm going to really concentrate on what I do on the airplane versus in the car. Share my jewelry with you real fast because I always get asked. This is my Hermes Ferrandol necklace and the matching ring and the bracelet and um, my Chanel Deco watch, not Chanel, my Michelle, it's not Chanel, my Michelle Deco watch with a yellow strap. So the first and the most number one favorite travel bag that I use is a Longchamp tote. And I brought several of these out here to share with you. Um, I have some limited edition ones. Uh, this one is the Eiffel Tower. I have a whole lot more. I didn't bring them all out. I have one that has a celestial print on it. Um, I love this one. It's so pretty. I love anything with a celestial print. And then, of course, I just have a simple black one. And this is the one that I use the most. And this is the one that has the most wear and tear on it. But for as much as I've used this, I think it's absolutely fabulous. So I'm going to show you how I bring the bags in this and what I do with all of that. But before we do that, if you are new to my channel, welcome in. If you're returning, welcome back. And I'd love it if you could just take one moment, hit that subscribe button down below. So let's get into how I travel. I am going to share the black one because this one is readily available and those are limited editions. So I'm going to show you the first bag that is one of my favorite, favorite travel bags. That is the Louis Vuitton Alma BB. And this one, of course, is in the Damier Ben print. One of these days, I am going to get an M hot stamped on there. I've been meaning to do that. I've had this bag for two years now and haven't gone in and done that. So what I do, and I have tried so hard to find a more, I don't know, bougie branded tote to work on the plane and I just haven't found one that fits under the seat, fits what I need, and works, you know, it works for my needs anywhere as well as a long shop. And you cannot beat the price on this. So what I will do, depending on the bag, I might put it in a dust bag. This particular one is fine. I would not put it in a dust bag. So I put that down into my long shop. And you can see there's a ton of room left over. So I'll have that bag filled pretty much with what I want to use on the trip. And then what I will do so that while I can get to things on the plane easily, I will either bring my uh, toiletry pouch 19, I brought my 26 a few times, or I will bring my long shop. And I will just put in here um, tissues, gum, lotion, lip balm, just things that I might need so I don't have to get into that bag. And um, my newest one, I haven't brought this one on a plane yet, but this one also would be great. So just to give an example, I know a lot of you have the Louis Vuitton 19. Throw this down in there and let me turn this where you can see it. There is still just a ton of room in there. So I'll put my iPad, my AirPods, um, a book, uh, a water bottle. There's just tons and tons of space. It's hard to see this with it at this angle, but there you can see like easily all of that stuff is going to fit down in there. So now let's talk a little bit about the bags that I bring. The criteria that I usually have is that a bag needs to be crossbody. So it's comfortable when you're doing touristy things. And I like a bag that is elegant enough to wear to a nice dinner. Now that does not apply to every trip. Of course, it depends upon where you're going, what you're doing. But this is one of my favorites because it is a nice crossbody. It has a zippered top. So I feel very secure wearing this out and about. And 
it holds a lot. I am going to either insert, um, I, if I have video shots, I will insert those. Otherwise, I have pictures of me with all these bags. I will insert some kind of mod shot. And I have videos on all these, so if you really wanna see what fits in them, and this one I actually just did a two, wear, uh, two a year wear and tear on, but it fits a lot. I have some different strap op options. If I can speak, I'm a little rusty. It's been a couple of weeks, um, but I have some different strap options. I like that it has the feet. And then, you know, if I wanna take it out like to a dressy dinner, just use it as a handheld bag. So this is one of my favorites. The one that flew with me the most recently. And this one I did put in a dust bag. I trust the Longchamp nylon not to do any color transfer um, but I did have a little color transfer on my um, Zoe wallet which is getting um, repaired right now so I'm extra extra cautious with my pink bags so clearly this is the same bag just in epi leather again feet on the bottom and this one the difference the inside is um, microfiber but I love traveling with the Alma BBs. And my last one, the zipper's better. I did buy a, um, a zipper, like a crayon, if you will. A lot of you gave me suggestions for that, and it is better. But it's not, it's not as smooth as this one, by any means. That's actually a good time to show you. I got them both out. See the difference? This one's just a lot easier, but probably just need to rub it on there again. But this is my last Alma BB. Yes, I love this bag so much. I have three of them, so I'm not counting this as the 10. Just Alma BB counts as one, Longchamp counts as one. So we're technically still on number two. But the Emprunt Leather version one, I think is fabulous. This one holds more than either of the other two. And it is more roomy, and this one is also a lot easier to get in and out of. And a big bonus with this one, it has a thicker strap. So it's super, super comfortable crossbody. And um, I just absolutely love the Alma BBs. And I had two, I had several other ones back in the past that I sold. And this is why I'm like really hesitant on selling things that I'm like bored with or whatever it may be because I know eventually I'm gonna come back around and love that item again. So I have to really think long and hard to let anything go. So let's move into number three now. Okay, so number three, um, the order I've decided to do these in is just to do them by brand. So no particular order of, I will tell you the ones that have gone with me the most, but no particular order. The Alma BBs, uh, obviously the pink one has only been on one trip. The other two have been on many. Um, if you don't know this about me, we travel a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I cannot uh, remember a month in a, I, I don't know how many years that we have not gone somewhere. And we are usually flying, so that's why I'm concentrating more on flying. When you're in the car, I mean, I would bring um, probably my new Marc Jacobs tote, or I would bring my Chanel Deauville, which I did fly with and it does fit under the seat, but I can't really uh, put my legs out. And I was having a little issue with my knee on this particular trip, so I'm kind of nervous to bring that one back. So this one is the um, Louis Vuitton, the Odeon PM. I do have an added little strap on here, a little chain strap. This I also just did a two year wear and tear video on and with mod shots and what fits and all of that. This is just a super convenient, uh, comfortable, comfortable bag. A lot of the times when you have Louis Vuitton's um, coated um, leather straps, they can be very stiff and they can dig in. And as much as I love Damier Aben, um, just move that out of the way. Um, the, the thicker ones can, can dig in. The little one I do okay with. This one has the double zip at the top. I do keep an organizer in it most of the time because it is just a giant black hole. There is a slit compartment there in the back. 
But the best thing about this bag is this front pocket. You can put your phone down in there, tissues, lip balm, like whatever it is that you need to get to and you know that you reach for the most, then you're not digging into your bag all of the time. So this one is absolutely great, comfortable. This one, however, it doesn't quite, uh, I don't think, make the cut for if you're going to a nice dinner. I have brought it though anyways, because I'll be honest with you, I really don't care if somebody's judging my bag at a dinner. That's kind of their problem, not mine, but, um, but I don't, you know, like if I was going, if I was at home and going to a nice dinner, this would not be, I would not even consider this. But if I, you know, I just bring one bag on vacation most of the time. And of course the long shot, but I would definitely just carry it anyways. <laughs> the next one is one of my favorites. This has gone on several trips with me. And I also just recently did a video on this one on the one year wear and tear, showing what fits, mod shots, all of that. It has no wear and tear. It is holding up absolutely beautifully. And that is my Loewe puzzle bag in the size small in the sand and mink color. Unfortunately, they have discontinued this color. They still have mink, but they don't have it where it has the two-tone strap. And I just thought that was so unique and it's just such a great neutral. I love the top handle. So this one, again, for dinner, you can remove the um, sides and you can just carry it in the crook of your arm and I think it works very nicely but again nine times out of ten I leave the strap on it because I just am not really that worried about dinner but if you're going somewhere super super nice you know you might you know you might want to remove that strap and carry it handheld this one again um, you are going to see a theme I do not, well, there's, there's a couple that don't have zippers. Almost all of them have zippers. It's very secure because you have this flap opening and then you do also have the zip. I get asked about this one a lot if it is hard to get into. It is not at all. This is a million times easier to get in and out of than the Speedy B25. I used to have three of those. I like this bag better. This is kind of my replacement, if you will, for that bag. <laughs> It's just fabulous. There is this back zipper compartment. What I do with this on vacation is I put my room key in here. It doesn't hold a lot. You can easily fit a card holder in there. When I did the one year uh, wear and tear on this, I put one of my card holders in there. Forgot to take it out after the video and I looked everywhere for like two days and then it's like, oh yes, I put it in there because I wasn't carrying the bag at the moment. She's doing a video, but it's great just, you know, so you can get to that room key quickly, but it isn't a big pocket at all, but I love this bag. The next one I have brought with me twice now, and this is the St. Laurent college bag in the size medium. This one hair doesn't want to let me see <laughs> in the size medium and the color is brick. I love this bag. It is so functional, so usable. I will tell you though, if you don't have it loaded just right, well, it's not going to do it because I have the, I have the strap in the correct area, but it will face plant. So you've got to distribute the weight on this one. Um, I love it so much, I considered recently picking this up in like, um, I think it's called Crema Blanc, Blanc, I don't know, but it was, I thought it was too similar in color to my peekaboo, and I'm also trying to stop with the duplicating of the bags, but I think it's just elegant, it has this back pocket, it does fit your phone, which was on my desk but isn't here, but it does fit my iPhone 12 Pro just fine. I normally am not a fan of divided um, bags. I think that that takes away from the uh, capacity. It does have a long removable strap, but this one, because the front one is so big, the back one, it's just, it's not a big deal to me. There's a slit compartment in the back. You've got the center zip, but most everything that I carry fits in that front one very, very easily. So I really, really like this. And I like, again, that you can remove that strap. And if you just want to carry it handheld 
or in the crook of your arm that you can. I think it is a beautiful color. I do not have anything like this color in my collection and I think it goes very well with a wardrobe all year long. So keeping on with Saint Laurent, I got this chain here in the way. Let me just move that. I love this bag and this one has been on a couple of trips with me. Two or three maybe now. And that is the Baby Nikki. And the color of this one is Storm. I love this bag so much. It is so easy to take it and to turn it into crossbody. I recently purchased the color I was telling you I was considering this one in, in the medium size, because I told myself it's not the same bag and it really doesn't look the same at all. However, I don't know, I, I got two of them. I sent one back because it did this and I, the other one did the same. Um, and uh, if I remember, I will try to insert, um, I have some video of that, but it would get stuck. Whereas this one just moves and I remember trying them on in the boutique and they just moved as well. But at the end of the day, when I tried all my things in that bag, it was just way too big for my frame and it was way too heavy. This holds every single thing that I need. This back magnetic pocket easily fits the phone and the phone goes all the way down where the magnet snaps. And then in the front, this is probably my favorite feature. First of all, it doesn't have a center divider, which I love that it does not have a center divider. I also recently purchased the small Lulu and that went back because that divider was just, it just didn't work for me at all. There was a whole bunch of reasons, but um, I love it doesn't have the center divider. But my favorite thing is this front pocket right here. So again, I will put my sunglasses, and my phone's in the back, so I don't need that there, but I'll put my sunglasses, whatever I need to reach and get to quickly and easily. Um, we took this on a staycation. We stayed in um, downtown Nashville for a couple of days and it was freezing cold, which makes my nose run worse than normal. So it was nice to have my tissues there. I put my lotion there and um, it was very cold. Your skin got dry easily and lip balm. And then you have this big compartment here, which fits absolutely everything. And then there's a slit compartment in the back. This has become one of my most favorite bags. It is just so usable and so functional. And being that it's smaller, this one is not too heavy crossbody. And I think the strap drop is a little bit longer. I didn't get any mod shots of the medium on me. I just um, decided it wasn't gonna work and I sent it back twice, but I tried, but this is a fabulous bag. One more Saint Laurent bag. This one has only been on one trip with me. It's been to Miami. This is the Lou camera bag. And I just, I think a camera bag is just a classic. I have never used the tassel with it. One of the things that bothered me the most as time went on with my Gucci Soho disco bag. I loved the leather. I loved the bag. That tassel, when you were walking, it would go and it would smack you and it was obnoxious. So I have never put the tassel on this. The color of this one is, I'm blanking out. I think it's like light taupe, I think. I'll write it down below. I do not remember the color. I do have an organizer in here because this is a big black hole, but let me take that out just so that you can see. Um, I will link the organizer um, discount down below. They are from Zamoni. They were gifted. I do not get anything if you purchase them using my uh, code, but they were kind enough to give them to me. So just to have full disclosure there. So it's just a big empty space and then you have a back slit compartment here. Um, I have been carrying this around the spring and it's just beautiful. It's simple. I don't think the logo is too much. I really like the chevron and that was a big huge part of why I returned the small Lulu as well. I don't like that Y pattern that the small Lulu has. I like just the plain chevron and the Lulu just didn't tick off. It didn't have, you know, it wasn't cute crossbody. It didn't have a top handle, didn't have a, a back pocket. So it just it just didn't work for me, but this one is absolutely 
fabulous. I don't think you can go wrong with having just a classic camera bag. It's never going to go out of style and it's super easy. And again, I'm not going to worry about this if there's a little bit of rain. So far, nothing I have showed you am I going to have to worry about. Actually, nothing that I'm going to show you <laughs> do I have to worry about if there's a little bit of rain. So let me grab the final ones. Okay, so I have three bags left for you for you. Um, two of them are very new to my collection, but they have both traveled with me. And these ones have gone on car trips, but um, I have plans to bring one of them, especially on an airplane. The first one is the tote bag from Marc Jacobs. The color of this is rose dust. The size of this is mini. This is certainly not a mini bag by any means. I love the top handles. I love the crossbody. This is actually the bag that I'm currently uh, using this week. I love that it has the zipper, the secure zipper. Makes me very happy. And then on the inside, it is all leather lined. You do have a slit compartment here and then a smaller little compartment that would fit gum or a credit card, but not a lot. Um, I did a video recently on this one comparing it to the large one. Um, I did use the large one on a trip recently. I loved it. Would I bring it on the plane? Definitely not. <laughs> it's just too big. I was going to bring it on our last flight and my husband talked me out of it and I'm glad that he did um, because as I was telling you about my Chanel Deauville, this one is bigger. So I think it would be, I would have to really squish it under the seat and you know, planes, you just don't get a lot of leg room. Uh, we fly the bus, we fly Southwest most of the time. It is a bus and <laughs> you don't get a lot of room. But this has been absolutely fabulous. When I first bought this one, I was positive I wanted this in the brighter pink. I think it's called Morning Glory. And I have now decided not to do that. It's been out of stock. Thank goodness for me, it's been out of stock. But I've decided not to do that because I've been wearing this so much this spring and it goes with everything. It just, it's a very light, neutral, beigey pink. And the other one, as much as I think that color is stunningly beautiful, I don't think it's going to really go with my wardrobe as well as this one does. It doesn't bother me anymore at all. At first I was kind of like the tote bag, but I don't know, it's kind of tonal. It doesn't bother me. You can turn it around, but honestly, I just carry it this way and I have loved it a lot and it was very easy to travel with. The next one is my newest bag and I just took this on a trip very recently and I loved it way more than I thought that I would and it is my Gucci Eden backpack. Um, some of them call it the Supreme backpack, but it is in the, in the size small. So as I said, we travel, travel, travel. I'm exhausted. I'm absolutely exhausted of travel. We are staying home for our birthdays. Um, and I'm going to cheat with a little bag I'm going to show you. So what my husband wants for his birthday is to go to Boston and go to a couple of Red Sox games. And this is the bag I am planning on taking on that trip. You cannot bring this into the park, so I'm going to show you my cheat in a minute. But first, let me tell you why I loved using this so much. Again, ease of getting to what I want quickly and easily. So in here, I had my phone, my sunglasses, tissue, and lip balm again just all fit down in there super easy the zips easy to get in and out of and then this just held absolutely everything that i wanted and i'm going to show you i can even put this in here on its side the bag that i am going to cheat with and have kind of a number 11 because i really wouldn't travel with this one even though i have brought it a few times but you can see how big it is there's my cheat bag so when we go to the game, you have to have a tiny, tiny bag. And this is my most tiny bag. So I will be bringing this one to me with me to Boston as well. I have brought this on a trip before, having nothing to do with going to a sporting event. This is the YSL 
mini Lou camera bag. Um, it has this nice back pocket here. You can put your room key or whatever you, you know, maybe your ID or something. But I can get these this down in here and still bring what I want, or I can you know put them down into my long shot bag. But so that's my cheat because of the stadium. I would bring this to the stadium, but they said online if you bring this, they will kick you out. We see when we go to the Titans game, not so much anymore, but when they first changed the rule, we would call it the husband walk of shame. They, they're not a walk of shame, they're nice husbands or boyfriends, but they would have a big giant woman's handbag and be hiking it back to the car so that their lady didn't have to, um, because we our um, season ticket holders, we knew the rules. We did never have to do that, but I always felt so bad. I was like, I'd be watching people walk up there. I'm like, I want to tell them they can't get in with that bag, <laughs> but I didn't. This is absolutely amazing. I cannot recommend it enough. I wore it mostly just on one shoulder, and because these are padded, it just didn't hurt my back at all. I love that I can pick it up like this. So speaking of the medium Nikki that I ended up sending back, I put all my belongings in the bag and I tried it on my shoulder and I'm like, ouch, <laughs> ouch, ouch, ouch. And I was like, well, am I just overloading it? So I took the same items out of that bag into this bag. Granted, that is leather. This is canvas. It does have a leather bottom, it has leather around both zippers, and the top handle is leather. But when I loaded this up with the same things, it didn't hurt at all, and I could have easily fit a few more things in this. So comfort is also a huge factor these days. If I feel like something isn't going to be comfortable, I know to send it back. It's not going to work. The Lulu, I I was telling my friend, she's like, I can't believe you sent it back. I got 15% off of both bags. I got the Lulu for $1,900. It's like $25.50 now. But I look at it and I'm like, I'm not going to reach for this over anything else in my closet. It doesn't bring anything to the table. So this brings a lot to the table. I didn't think I was a backpack girl, but I am excited to use this this summer. And it is definitely going on a trip with me. I cannot wait for that. So the last one is probably the one that I have traveled with the most out of all of these. I am getting hot with these lights on. It is like 90 something degrees today. I'm like, oh, I can feel it in my neck. I am so hot. So this is definitely one I think I have traveled with more than any other bag and I'm going to show it to you first with the Defender cover on it. The Defender cover gets a lot of hate on YouTube. I do not understand why it is fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. I got mine hot stamped with an M on it. This is just in the Zuka print. This is my Fendi Peekaboo and it is coming up on four years old. And this, I guess, would be the only one that you would have to worry about rain, but it has a rain jacket and it has the Defender cover as well. This is in lambskin and do not be afraid of Fendi's lambskin. I hate Chanel's lambskin. I have been honest about that for many, many years. As I said, this is coming up on four years old. There is not a mark on it. And this is one of my most used bags. I absolutely love this bag for vacation. It has a center divider, which isn't my favorite, but both compartments are big enough. And what I like about it, I have different straps that work with it, but it comes with a long adjustable crossbody strap. What I like about this one on vacation, I will close one side of it because I'm wearing it crossbody. And so the side that is away from my body um, is, is closed so it would be much more difficult for somebody to reach in when it is you know next to you so I really like that I also like that I can make it so casual or um, depending on where you're going like I've set this down on the ground because this is just canvas and it's not um, it's not gonna hurt anything at all and yeah, I wouldn't want to sit lambskin on the ground. It is elegant and beautiful if you're going to go somewhere fancy. 
I just absolutely love this. And as long as I have had this, I said, if I found the right color, I would purchase another one. And I did last year for my birthday. And again, cheating, showing the Defender cover, but look how cute this would be with this outfit. Again, I got my initials stamped on there. And this one is in calfskin. These are just fabulous bags. Um, they are absolutely, absolutely underrated on YouTube. I was just talking to uh, Dale's Addiction about that on one of her videos. I love the peekaboo, so does she. This one has feet. I wish that this one did. Um, it does not, but even, like I said, for lambskin, that would show up with all those lights. It's pristine. But I like that this one has pe feet, not peat, feet. And I like the color. It's not a pure white. Um, it kind of reminds me a little bit maybe of like the Hermes Cray uh, color. And it's as much as like I love my Hermes bags, I don't like the smaller size for me personally, just because of how expensive they are. I would rather get a 30 than a 25. This is actually like a 23. So it's kind of a great alternative. I was not thinking Hermes whatsoever four years ago when I bought this. Um, and I was not buying this instead of an Hermes bag, just the color reminded me because I'm now aware of it. But um, this one has the suede interior with the Zuka print, which is just fabulous. And this one has a better strap. It is thicker and um, it's just more padded. And the other one's really, really thin. So it would be nice if they had the same straps, but I love the gold hardware on it. I love everything about it. I have bags that there are just no way I would take them on a plane or travel with them. But I do think that you can bring luxury with you. And, you know, just by putting it in a simple long shot bag, if you don't want to call attention to yourself at the airport with a Deauville or something with a giant logo on it. But um, these are all really, really good travel bags. Again, you can, this is what I always do when I'm out walking, just lock the one side and you just have a lot of security. Everything else but these are top sip, but these, and oh, one more thing about this. I get asked all the time, do you scratch your hand? I have never once ever scratched my hand on the lock, but I think what I'm doing differently than other people. So here's the lock on the inside. I put my hand in this way. So my palm is facing the lock. I wonder if people are putting their hand in, so there's the lock where the back of your hand goes in. Because yes, I can feel that on the back of my hand. But for whatever reason, just instinctively, I don't know, I've always put my hand in this way and I have never been scratched once by that. But if you were looking for some nice travel bags, I cannot recommend all of these enough. I hope you have an amazing day today. Take care, bye-bye.